I went to the bar by myself this time to get a Hendrix to avoid anyone else coming to me with a cheap drink instead. It stunk of smoke. I kept forgetting that they hadn't banned cigarettes in Lower Macedonia. My lungs were not happy. A young guy in his early 20s was queuing at the counter just on my side and holding a menu. Hi, can I look at the menu too? I asked. Sure, he replied. Where are you from? And he passed me a thick wooden tablet with the names of the drinks drawn against the backdrop of a map of the continent. Technically from Brussels, but I have been all over the places in the past few years, I said. And you? I asked. I'm from here. Well, not exactly from here. I come from Neagonia in Alkidiki. But I study literature in Thessaloniki at the University of the Mediterranean, he replied. He had a soft accent, especially when pronouncing the letter L, which he seems to me as if he was caressing it inside his mouth. I was fascinated. Hi, Mephestian. What's your name? He asked. Bastian. Bastian Balthazar Books, I replied. And what do you do in life? He asked. Well, during the daytime, I run an organization called the Federation. In my spare time, I get dumped over the breakup shop app. That's why I need to get a drink, a strong one. What shall I get? Hmm, if you want to drink like a local, you should try hashtag TBT, he said. That's the bar specials. And he showed me hashtag TBT, marked down the menu map. It cost 15 Macedonian rupees, something like one and a half XUs. It was a shot made up of tequila, Baileys, and Tabasco. I felt a punch in my stomach just by thinking how fucked up that stuff might have tasted. But I also felt like congratulating the bartender for the geopolitical imagery and the owners of the Rover Hangover Bar for having managed to register the trademark for such a known label. To get TBT registered, they would have been the first to use the mark for commercial use, which was clearly not the case. They possibly took advantage of the privatization acts that freed for purchase several hundred thousands of trademarks, brands, and names when the armistice was signed or that was a fake trademark, illegally placed on their menu. Who knows? Do you know where hashtag TBT originally comes from? I asked. Um, I think it used to refer to Throwback Thursday on Twitter, he said. A friend of his, who was also there at the counter and happened to, eaves to be eavesdropping on our conversation, jumped in. Nah, hashtag TBT is another way of saying TBH, to be honest, he said. And while speaking, I could not keep my eyes off from the yellow laces falling from his black hoodie. Um, I heard someone else referring to it as Taco Bell time, Ephestion said. Hmm. The thing is that TBT was one of those chameleonic hashtags that changed over time. During the Civil War, media used TBT for a while as they always liked acronyms and hashtags. Since no one could really tell what it really referred to in those gloomy days, collective confusion mounted. An analyst from an obscure think tank in Umea postulated it was a bioweapon produced by the Russians. For others, TBT resonated as a new sexually transmitted disease. It was common to see people writing that they were TBT negative on their Grindr and Tinder accounts, two sex dating apps popular, popular back then. Look at the map on the menu, I said. What do you see? Well, I see Lower Macedonia 
and the regional administrative borders of the European Union. There is also the Parisian Anarchist Regional Independent State, P-A-R-I-S. Other city-states, plus the foreign territories of the Swiss Confederation, including Bavaria and Vorarlberg. But they cut off the map the United Crowns of Denmark, Northern Ireland, Norway, Sweden, and Upper Britain. Bravo. You just described hashtag TBT, which stood for the big transformation and described the shifting ge geographical landscape of the continent emerging out of the conflict. I say, shocked that despite this being a traumatic experience for us all, by the time I was in the rubber hangover bar, TBT was just a nasty drink. All right, three hashtag TBTs, please, I asked the bartender. Only a few years er earlier, the older brothers and sisters of those two guys must have been fighting barely a few hundred meters from the bar in the battle that ignited the war. That was, after all, the reason why we were having the General Assembly of the Federation in Thessaloniki, symbolically commemorating the fact that in a place where people once fought with guns, we were now rebuilding a new governance for the continent. These are on me, I cheer to them. And I quickly down it all, preventing that sort of creamish thing from being in close contact with my taste buds for too long. Then they both left for, to meet their friends. And I finally ordered Hendrix with Fever Tree and Cocambo. Thank <laughs> you.